what's pop? What's pop? Welcome back to Anime Palace. Um, we're back with episode nine of Hogwarts Legacy. We are already grinding it out. Um, like I was saying in the last episode, I'm I'm ready to move on from Hogwarts. I'm ready to set my legacy and then move on. Continuing from last episode, we are with Sebastian. We're figuring out how his sister got cursed. Um, the last thing we left off on, we we're in going to explore some underground something or other. So let's just get let's just jump back into it. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Ain't that right? Couldn't bring her. Not sure what I did to deserve that. I was moving that stuff out of the way, boy. Shut up. Huh? A stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Let's see what they're talking about down here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lumos. Bag these things right up. See how I just knew how to do that right off jump? That's because I'm a wizard. Too good. Back up. He ain't got not a damn charm on him, nothing. Is it Dora Morgan? I oh, a journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. It looks like we gotta read it too. Seems these journal entries are from his adorers travels. And do you have anything to say, sir? He's just chilling. Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? Whoa. A daydream. Because that happens to me too. That reminds me of that mirror from uh, from Harry Potter, the one where you could see, you see all your desires and stuff. I didn't froze everything in here. Ooh, that's cool. I know it sounds strange, but- Honestly, I nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. That scared the mess what out of I me. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. Right there. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. Exactly. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Lumos. Let's go straight through the door. I know y'all feeling that British accent, it's too good. I'm just, I'm just gonna be right in there. I could just see it. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Ancient magic. Still got that on though. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Let's have a look, say. Okay. What we got. We got ancient magic here, ancient magic there, ancient magic right here, and I uh, don't know what this is. V? If I do recall correctly, they had one of those little V things on that witch's tomb that we went to go on earlier. Anything helpful in the notes? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago. 
and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't mm. be sure, of course, but Excellent. I don't question. think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Mm. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? Okay. You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. Okay. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. All right, Deke. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Show me some leak. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. This game made her a nasty like... poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. I feel you, Deke. I feel you, Deke. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Lumos. <laughs> No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Ooh, that was fire. You got one! You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Deke now, not all than... beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. 
All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. I'm gonna have to mess some poachers up. Deke, but Deke, you could have just took me with you, man. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobbernals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Okay. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. I think I got something better in mind. Then I shall go and rescue a Jobbernal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Please. Move your I'll look after you. I rescued a Jobbernal. Deke hopes your Jobbernal finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Mm. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Dig will see you there. Watch this, watch, watch this, just dip. I like to do all that walking. Yeah, I know, so? What are you up to now? Nothing, nothing. Leave me alone. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's Deke prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Mm. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Damn. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the... My bad, Deke. You was talking, my B. Now, now. I'm only trying to help. Places! Slow down, boy. I told you I was trying to help, boy. I need to find my hippogriff. Like, where's my hippogriff at? It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. 
You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Appreciate that, Deke. That's a good shot. Look at this shot. Mm, not bad. And play some nice music now. The room of god dang requirement, boy. Deke steady clean. Deke hasn't seen this many. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. What? Hmm. What exactly did you think of? A cage? What is it? Deke isn't sure. <laughs> Only one way to find out. I'm gonna see that. Meet you inside when you're ready. See. Gotta walk in there cool. Gotta walk in there cool. Wow, that's cool. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? Where? Yes, indeed. It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Vivarium. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. That's fire. I guess I gotta raise all of them. the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, okay. and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. In the Vivarium. Expelliarmus! Oh, boy, stop that! My bad. Twenty four minutes. What? Where's my other guy? 
diet. Eat that, eat that. This reminds me of, um, you could do something like this on Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, you can get like a, I forget what the hell it was called. I'll make sure to put it in there. And then, um, Nintendogs, y'all know Nintendogs, you take care of anything. You get to pet it, you get to feed it. Where's that little, uh, moon calf at? Get some of that, get some of that, take some of that. Rename. Name? What am I gonna name this guy? There it is. Hey, take some of this food tank. You right there. His eyes are on me. Okay, um, oh, ho, 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 ho. So we got him. And then where's my other guy? There he is. If y'all can guess why I named the Marco, you cool. Welcome. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. I'll catch y'all later. I'll catch y'all later. Nice little, nice little family in there. That came out nicely. I should show Burn Deke. It in here? I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Okay. Thank you for your help, Deke. Deke. very helpful, actually. Fits. So I get to decorate outside, too? She. Deep and dip. That's the deep dip sound. Astronomy class. See, I'll be liking to do like the classes off camera because it's like it don't be furthering the plot. The only way it furthers the plot is so I can get a next main mission. I'm like, bro, just put me on the. Meet me near the ruins of Falbottom Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Oh. After dark, relax. After dark, relax. Um, but we're gonna do that. Revelio. Thought I was gonna see. Not too much scrap in this episode. Not too much scrap in this episode. Which is fine. Which is fine that there's not that much scrapping, but um it adds a little bit of excitement to the episodes. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Bro, she get on my nerves. She get on my nerves every episode.
and your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. An adventure? There you- Woo! Look how you walked in there! Who are you? Ladies? Professor Shah. Don't do that. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. She told Get it together. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Uh-uh. No, not the way he looked up. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. Ooh. The universe, boy. Y'all know how I feel about that. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Wait a minute, I don't Look care. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is like that clear? Energy. Oh, it's clear. Crystal. <sighs> Dismissed. What did I do in the class? What did I do in the class? Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? You heard her. I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. I can't do that, I'll meet. You might need it. No, really, you can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle no. of all personal stargazing no. implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Why do you sound like you don't Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. You want to talk to me? We just met. What you want to talk to me about? What you want to start? Try to put off my stargazing as long as I could. I always want to start something. I'm talking oh, to you. Oh, good, that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold? Serious who? I'm black, boy. You wanna go downstairs? Is that what he said? The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. What's up, Amit? I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Mm. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a catch to that telescope. No, no. I, I certainly wasn't trying to bribe you or yeah. anything. But are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Let's go, boy. We knew it. We knew it.
The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Lumos. <sighs> it is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Boy, get to the Happy mission. to be here. Get to the mission. It is good to leave the class from now and then. Draco, you stay out the class. It's boy. not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. You sound so scared. Why don't you lead the way? This nigga's scared. If you're sure. <laughs> he said he want me to lead the way. Oh boy. Hmm. A little foreboding. This nigga's scared. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as Revelio. tidy as I expected. Out of the way. The pulse. Lumos. Lumos. Okay. Hey, boy. Hey, don't. Scary ass. Don't copy me. Couldn't bring them. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? This nigga's scared. Boy. Oh, no. Not this Lumos. close to school. I meet. Talk to this man, Draco. Ooh, that's good. Look, there's a table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. What do you want me to do? I don't know how to use this shit. Oh. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Oh, boy, stop. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Enlighten the universe. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. That's pretty cool. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thanks. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Quite. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically oh, fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook. Tell me. You did not just say that. You know, and, and how you pronounce Whoa. your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. This man said the gobbledygook is all in the throat. Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Be quiet. Okay, yo. We're going to stop it right there. We're going to stop this episode right here. Um, not too much scrapping, but you know what? Uh, my sparkling personality pretty much carried the episode. Appreciate that. But um, next episode, we're going to have to... We're going to meet up with Natty. And I also have to learn Ringardium Leviosa. And I'm not about to go all over the map looking for uh, Mandrake. So next time you see me... Um, we're going to learn the spell, and then we're going to see Natty, and we're going to, that, that next spell is the High Keep. So, that's, it looks like it's a main mission. So, that's what we're going to have for next time. So, next time you guys remember, uh, tomorrow may never come, so show love when you can. And me, I'll always be here for you. Enlighten the universe.